What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Simpsons Tractor Works. My first paid stump grinding job. Mmm. That's what I'm talking about. I ground up stump at the house, put a picture of it on Facebook. Had two people contact me about needing stumps ground up. This is the first one. Guy I used to go to high school with, I've known him for over 30 years. He spent over 20 years in law enforcement. He retired from that. I don't know what he's doing now. Only bad thing about him, he's a Georgia Bulldog fan. But he, I told him, he sent me a text, you know, hey, I got four stumps. What do you charge? You know, when can, can you come do it? I said, well, send me a picture of them. So he sent me a picture. I texted him back. I just threw a number at him, how much it would be. I don't really know. You know, it's my first time doing it. Be sure to ask what the slope of the yard is like. I don't know if you can tell, my tractor about like that right now. Here's the stump back here. Let's go take a look. Can you, let's see if we can see the, the stump is right there on the edge before it really drops off. It's still kind of tall, and I didn't bring a chainsaw because I thought it was a little closer to the ground. Where is it at? There it is. So the tree's still laying there. I like to I like to get a hold of that. This is all just downhill. Whoop. And the stump is right here on the edge of it. I'm gonna try to get as much of it as I can. Uh But, you know, when I'm backing the tractor up, the, the stump grinder is, may not come up high enough. Well, let's go take a look at them other stumps. So here we are on the other side of the house. And as you can see, the ground, you see how high the porch is? Well, that's because this is all sloping downhill that way, steeply. Uh... I don't know what kind of tree this is, but you know, some of that lower stuff's gonna get broke. But here's two stumps right here. They look pretty rotten, actually. The other one, way back here, they look pretty rotten too. But the whole thing is, The slope of the yard getting to it. I'll have to be right here on his yard. I may tear it up a little bit. I'll try not to. And then over there, I'm gonna have to play around because where I need the tractor to be is gonna be a lot lower than the stump. And one side of the stump, you know, it, it may be that high off the ground. And the right side of the stump is that high off the ground. And I'm gonna be on the right side, so getting the stump grinder back in there over it is gonna be tough. So let's get to work on that other one over there and see what we can do. On the back side of this stump. That far to the ground. Woo! I didn't charge enough. That's how tall that stump is. Oh. 
And this is steep. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I ain't gonna like this. All right, I wanted to show y'all, if I can, what just happened. I had to take a little stop The uh, on the other side over there. Uh, stump grinder came out of the I-match. Three-point hitch over here. And the reason being is, of course, you know, with I-match, you got to buy these extra, uh, I can't remember what you call them, but anyway... Well, there's the owner right there. But anyway, you can see right there, I've got one on there to keep it in the eye match, but I really need two because it's not long enough. Well, on the other side over there, it popped out of the eye match. So I got it back in and uh, let's get back to work. Yeah, I forgot my rig. I forgot my blower. Yeah. It's almost done. Everybody, I got that first one done. That sorry homeowner. 
He didn't tell me the back of that stump was, you know, that big. No, I, I'm just messing with him. He just said send a picture. Yeah, I just told him to send me a picture. Of course, he didn't send me the back of the back of the stump picture. <laughs> Sorry, dog. Anyway, let's let's hit these two. He don't care about that tree. If it falls, it falls. That's good. But we're getting low on daylight. So let's get as much done as we can. Let's get this video closed out. Uh, as you can see, it started getting dark on me, and I really didn't get to finish doing an in video clip. But uh, I, when I originally talked to him, I quoted him just based on the pictures that he sent me. Four stumps, I said four hundred dollars. Well, since we know each other, and I had talked to him off camera about the uh, difficulty and, you know, not being able to tell everything by the photos that he sent me. Um, we went ahead and, and raised the price up a little bit. So, first stump grinding job, four very difficult stumps, a lot bigger than what I thought they were going to be based on the information that he sent me. And he agreed to it, so... He paid me $600. Now, could I've gotten more? Sure. You know, if from now on, I'm not giving a, I'm not giving a quote based on a picture. Those stumps above the ground, 
they were real soft, rotten, real easy to get through. But once I got to ground level, man, they were about hard as a rock. So it was a little more difficult than I was expecting it to be. The <clears throat> the one where there was two stumps there next next to each other. Well, once you got underground, it was just one big humongous stump. So I told him, you know, if, if somebody else had come out here, this would have been easily over a thousand dollars, just because of the the difficulty, the slope, the amount of actual wood that had to be cut, um, like on the back side of the stump. So we took all that into consideration. He's a buddy of mine. I charged him six. He's happy with it. He still got a lot. They just moved into that house late last fall. And uh, we talked about other areas around his property that, you know, might come back and, and clean up and make it look a little better. So I think he'll give me a call. But um, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll holler at you later.